Thank you so much for the um, introduction. And thank you so much to the organizers for um, inviting me to participate um, in this, in this um, conference. So we'll be speaking on manufacturing, real estate and infrastructure. Um, we have an opening speaker and then we have um, some presenters and then we have um, some people, some stakeholders that will then give some interventions. With respect to Nigeria's manufacturing, real estate and infra infrastructure, as we know, um, Nigeria's population is estimated to be around 200 million. And um, experts say that this could actually double by 2050. So undoubtedly, manufacturing infrastructure and real estate is really, really important. And there's this huge demand to fill. For those of us who have been to Nigeria recently, or those of us that are actually still here, when you go around, um, you know, we always look around and we say, oh, there's so much that needs to be done. And whilst there is indeed challenges, these challenges actually represent so many, many, many different opportunities. Um, according to the World Bank, um, 14 billion is required every year just to support the infra infrastructural sector. And actually a huge portion of this can actually come from the diaspora. And collaboratively, we can contribute to the development of Nigeria. Now, when we say contribute to this, um, to the infrastructural development of Nigeria, it doesn't necessarily need to be finance. The diaspora can really contribute um, in various different ways. Some of it can be technical, some of it can be ICT, some of it can even be um, access to raw materials, especially for manufacturing. Manufacturing in itself covers um, whole, you know, a whole different array of different activities from household goods, consumer products, automobiles, agriculture, mining, cement, and building materials. And it, it, that just re-emphasize how important the manufacturing space is in Nigeria, especially with the rise in population. So as I, met, as, as I, as I had just mentioned, automobile is key to manufacturing. And I'm very, very proud to introduce the next speaker, Mr. Jelani Aliyu, the Director General of Nigerian Automotive Design and Development Council. Um, he, before that, he worked at General, he worked at General Motors um, and he's one of the key designers for Opel Astra. Um, he also designed um, the Pontac and the Chevrolet Bolt as well, okay? Um, in addition to that, as I mentioned, he's now the Director General of the National Automotive and Development Council. And they have the vision to transform Nigeria into a modern industrialized nation. And they want to design and implement policies, programs and strategies for an effective, competitive and diversified private sector with a special focus on the automobile sector. And they do an array of different activities from trainings, to, to exhibitions, to they're having an actual research fund and a fund to actually invest in the sector. Mr. Delani will be speaking on funding opportunities for growing the micro, small and medium enterprise sector. 